Howdy, everybody, for long haul. So that's Genevieve uh, saying uh, hi from long haul. This is uh, another uh, quick, well, sort of quick land tour, uh, March 23rd, 2015. Got uh, Genevieve here and my uh, also co-pilot Galvin back there. I don't know if you can see him. Um, anyway, this is our new edition that we're standing in. It's uh, the space room. No, I'm actually putting up boards uh, right now, uh, but that's what these boards are. But yeah, anyway, it looks kind of like a space room right now. So yeah, this used to be where our really crappy porch was, but tore that down last year and built this. Anyway, the inside of the cabin's probably still mostly the same. I don't know. Um, we'll look around in here real quick. Built some shelves a, a year and a half ago, probably. And uh, yeah, we installed a new cook stove, Baker's Choice wood cook stove. It's pretty awesome. It's got a seven gallon water reservoir. Um, and yep, uh, I don't know. I think most of most of everything else is the same in here. But we're gonna go outside now, right, Jen? Yeah. All right, let's go outside. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go outside and we're gonna show everybody who's watching this video all the stuff, our whole place, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go. And, and, then, and show me the video. Yeah, we can watch it when we're done. You can watch the whole thing when we're done. Okay, so so yeah, here's the uh, the uh, addition. Uh, the, try to get out of the the glare of the uh, sunlight. Um, these are all, uh, uh, it's board on board, um, kind of like board and batten, but the, I used sort of like the live, live edge cut stuff, uh, for the battens. Uh, this is all stuff that I milled with our bandsaw mill. And here's the front of the addition here, or, well, I guess that's the front, I don't know, I'm not sure. Here's the one side, the other side. Um, anyway, there's the, uh, uh well, yeah, there's the outhouse over there. Uh, here's a big pile of logs. Here's the storage barn, um, which I put a new wing on uh, last summer. Uh, it's not finished yet. There's a bunch of, I don't know, stuff in there. Um, lots of stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, saws and boards and bicycles and all kinds of fun stuff in there. Yep. Um, so yeah, this is the one wing, and over here we have the rest of the storage structure, which I started building, like, I built this back half of it two or three years ago, and then I built this half of it two years ago, and then I built that half of it last year, and there's going to be another wing over here, uh, like this one over here. Um, anyway, it's all framed with, uh, with logs from the land. Um, yep and a bunch of stuff and you know milled some shelves there and everything um lots and lots of stuff storage yeah storage is pretty crucial what do you think jen no, i don't know you don't know you don't know okay let's go outside yeah yeah so so there's the, that wing right there, and I'm going to make another wing over here this summer. Oh, and here's our sugar bush, and we have one tree tapped right now. We're actually not doing sugaring this year, um, unfortunately, but we're going to tap a few trees, at least, uh, you know, drink a little sap, but, oh yeah, it's uh, not dripping very much today, but yeah, it's still March, so that's probably why. What about, Daddy? What about over here? Let's check out this stuff over here. Oh boy, there's a pile of materials, and here's a pile of other random stuff, and here's, oh yeah, here's the goat cabin. So, oh yeah, we, we don't have goats anymore. We haven't had goats for, uh, geez, two and a half years now, I think. We, we only had them for one summer. We got rid of them in the fall. Ended up butchering the males and selling the females. And so the goat cabin's just kind of like storage right now for like sleds and random outdoor stuff and I kind of want to cut a door in the bench eventually in the side here because that door is really hard to get in if you're not a goat so uh, yeah anyway and these logs over here uh, they I don't know exactly what I, I'm thinking about taking the roof off and like making it higher and then making it into a sauna or something like that but I don't know anyway that's all up for debate 
Oh, and here's, uh, you know, there's the house and there's the uh, workshop uh, tool kitchen, I call it. There's the solar panels. There's one of our 275 gallon rain jugs. And we also have, uh, we keep, we put a rain barrel up there where that bucket is uh, in the summer and then we, you know, feed it in through the, through the window, and, you know, get water that way. But uh, yeah, gravity fed, you know. Um, and we have another one of these things too. Uh, so we have lots of rain water. We don't actually have a well, but oh, and then there's this thing. This is the um, this is the new uh, ice house shanty trailer thing that we got off Craigslist for 400 bucks, and it's kind of kind of cool. It was a pop-up camper that somebody like you know ripped out the insides of and then framed up in between and then put the roof back on. And I just installed the stove in it. So uh, yeah, it's actually got like ice fishing holes that somebody installed in there and. It's got a little table slash bed thing, and yeah, there's uh, so there's the stove I just installed in there, and uh, we just tested it out today, so it's airing out, you know. Uh, and anyway, what are you doing over at the goat cabin, Jen? I'm trying to find my, my. I think it's a good time to get my goat cabin ready. Bicycle out. Oh, you got some toys in there for outside yeah. in the summer? Oh, look at that. There's a bicycle. Holy cow. I don't know. There's still a lot of snow, don't you think, for a bicycle? And ice? You might slip on the ice. What do you think? No. There's a little bit of bare ground. There's a little bit of bare ground. Maybe we can get it out after we do this video. You want to walk over to the uh, tool trailer with me? No. Oh, well, you're going to stay here by yourself? No, I'm, I'm that ball out. Oh, I'll get that out after the video. Okay. All right. So I'm going to walk over here to the tool kitchen. There's the tool trailer. We have lots of trailers. Here's the, oh yeah, here's, the, here's my little generator shed thingy that I built, um, you know, for powering the uh, solar when we don't have enough uh, sun. But we got sun today, it's great. You can see the glare. Uh, there's another rain barrel set up. I put a barrel on its side there, uh, like the other one. Here's the other side of our house. And, oh, there's our big rock. Uh, anyway, here's the tool kitchen. The tool kitchen is, uh, my workshop space semi-organized i kind of know where everything is so you know lots of uh fun stuff to do things with uh, oh and here's our solar system besides the panels so there's this this insulated box that i built on the side of our wall of our house and then you hear that buzzing that's an uh, uh 48 volt uh dc fan blowing air into there and then it has like I have an exhaust port up there. You can't. Oh yeah, that pipe right there. Um, so it blows warm air in there to keep the batteries warm, and it's an insulated box, and that's where the batteries are. And I can take it apart and get to them when I need to water them and stuff. And there's the charge controller right uh, there, and that's the that's the uh, the inverter. And Galvin, what's going on? You getting a little upset there? I think he's I think he's all right. I think he's doing okay. You doing okay? Okay. And uh, yeah. Anyway, lots of stuff in here. Okay. So um, yeah. Out here we have the uh, we have our wood yard and our garden. Here's our garden, and you can kind of see some of the signs. Maybe uh, we've expanded our garden a little bit. Um, and there's our wood yard. There's a woodshed. There's a woodshed back there. I don't know if you can see it. There's lots of lots of wood and lots of woodsheds. There's another woodshed. Um, there's a bunch of big piles of wood. Oh, and there's the big trampoline. Let's go back to the... Yeah, more piles of wood, another woodshed. There's our giant trampoline. It doesn't have the trampoline on it because it'll, you know, it'll kind of... Uh, the snow will destroy it. So we're going to put that back on soon. And there's Genevieve over there. Oh, and here's, oh yeah, this is new. So, you know, we have uh, the rock here as always, but I put a slide here with some plastic composite stuff that I got at a garage sale for really cheap. And uh, yeah, I just built that in, in an afternoon. And it's a really, really nice slide actually. Um, oh, and then this swing set too. I built this swing set out of, uh, you know, had two maple trees that were too close, close to our house and kind of shading out our garden. And so we cut the tops off and, then I, I got uh, part of an old swing set there, and uh, with the hardware and everything, and for free somewhere. And anyway, that's the uh, yep, the swing set. So 
What do you think, Jen? Should we go over here? Oh, you got the ball out. Awesome. That's great. Time for the ball. All right. You're having a ball, right? Yeah. Yeah. So here's the tool trailer. This is like the only reason that I'm able to have a uh, functional workshop space because all my overflow of stuff ends up in here. It's actually particularly messy right now. I kind of had to get at something earlier today. But uh, I kind of know where, I mean, it looks really messy, but it's more or less organized and I know where everything is. Uh, well, not everything, but I know where, I know where most stuff is. And I know like most of the stuff I have. But what do you think about the tool trailer, Genevieve? No! You think no? What does that mean? It means nothing. Nothing? <laughs> you think nothing? Yeah, I'll eat. Oh, okay. Well, hey, let's go over to Tori's trailer. No. No? I'm going to go there. No, you're not going to go oh, there. Oh, you're not going to let me? Yeah. You stand in front of the door? Okay, well, I'm going to... Oh, oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Yep, whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, I got by you. Ha, ha. Ha, ha. Ha, ha. Now I'll shut you in. No, I'm just kidding. I won't do that. <laughs> okay, so then, oh, our next trailer. This is more like the tour of trailers. That was our goat yard before. We're maybe going to do a garden with that eventually, but um, anyway, here's uh, the guest trailer, formerly known as Tori's trailer, because my sister Tori spent some time in it. Um, this is the uh, this is where where guests can stay now. Got it really cheap on Craigslist, and I got the stove for free, and we, uh, I installed that stove, this little cook stove, two burner cook stove in it. Oh, and it's wired for electricity and everything. So we have the have it hooked up to our system, just via uh, a uh, power line that you can kind of see that yellow, that orange line there. Um, anyway, nice little cozy spot. Uh, it's uh, very small and has two bunks, and most of our library is in here. And yeah, there's even shelves and stuff that used to be a shower. Supposedly there's oh, and there's a propane furnace which we've never used, and we've never used the shower. Or there's like a water tank and water heater. And what do you think about the guest trailer, Genevieve? No. No. Nothing. Nothing. You, what do you think about anything? Yeah, anything. Anything. Yeah. yeah. What do you think, Galvin? Galvin's a little quiet today. Okay, so. Anyway, we're going to go outside again, and here's the junky shed that I got for free, uh, that I'm storing more stuff in, and there's a really junky trailer that we got for free, um, that I'm storing more stuff in, um, yeah, I don't know, that's, it's pretty gross in there, I'm not going to go in that one, but, uh, and there's their, there's our fire pit, and there's our sawmill shed, but first, we'll go over here, first we'll shut this door. Right, we don't want mice in there. That would be terrible. Oh, and here's the trusty old uh, Toyota that has been very good to us. There's a giant tree that fell down in a windstorm. It's going to turn into some nice boards someday. And this that I'm walking on here. Oh, there's our snowmobiles. And, yeah, two snowmobiles. Uh, we get That's how we get in and out of the winter sometimes. There's another trailer, utility trailer. Um, this is our new drive, or it's not really our drive yet, but it's... What's that, Genevieve? Oh, that's awesome! She's ice skating, she said. So, this is where we're gonna, gonna be like our loop drive thing, through here, to our new building site, where we're gonna eventually build a log home. Um, yeah, so the whole thing with the goats, they are a lot of trouble. Man, they are so much more trouble than they're worth. It's crazy. But, um, I don't know, we might have goats again someday, but probably not till the kids are older, until they can, you know, help out with them and whatnot. So here's the new building site. Uh, well, this is, like, still kind of the drive part of it right here. And the driveway is going to go, like, you know, kind of over that way and loop back around the sawmill shed. And it'll be like a teardrop thingy. Oh, and here's a bunch of logs. These are the cedar logs I was logging last winter for our cedar log sauna. Uh, and they're some pretty nice looking logs. Technical difficulties there. Uh, anyway, so here's uh, here's our uh, there's the cedar logs that I was logging last winter with the snowmobile for our cedar log sauna, which is going to go somewhere in that teardrop area. And right over here is our new building site for where we'll eventually build our log home. I hope um, right in this area here. 
And we got the backhoe attachment for the bobcat there. Got a swing on the tree there. Some more cedar logs. Some more cedar logs over there. Got a raspberry garden here. And yeah, like four rows of raspberries. Uh, some fence posts. Uh, pretty good sun exposure here. We're gonna be expanding the gardens in this area. And then we got a mailbox uh, for storing garden tools. Mail, believe it or not, the mailman doesn't actually come all the way up here. Um, and so here's the, uh, yeah, we're gonna put a blueberry patch right here and this where these stakes are, uh, right in front of the raspberry garden. And we're gonna put two apple trees right there and there where that apple sign is that I don't think you can read because the sun. Um, yep, and this, this is kind of, we're up on the ridge there and it kind of drops off there so we get some pretty good sun exposure. Anyway, there's the cedar logs. Right over here, oh yeah, so here's where the driveway, it's gonna like come, we came from over there and it's gonna kind of like come this way around through here and past the sawmill shed, which is right there. This is the, what I was constructing during the uh, trusses, how to put trusses up by yourself video. Um, so, it's still kind of under construction, but it's mostly finished. It's good enough right now. Um, there's the bobcat, and there's the sawmill behind it. And there's our friend Nate's tent. He was staying here this winter. Some logs. The man sawmill logs. Okay, uh, there's the trusses. Yep. I think this video is going on way too long. Anyway, if you're still here, well, you know, thanks for watching it, yes. Uh, yeah, there's Nate's tent, Nate's wall tent that he was staying in this winter, and he's not around at the moment, but, uh, yeah, anyway. And this is Josiah and Christie's tent, that, or uh, tent structure, A-frame thing that they built uh, two years ago, and it's still standing, so had to do a little repair work this fall, but, Still serves as kind of a, you know, I don't know, temporary uh, sort of little guest space and storage space and whatnot. Nice spiral staircase there up to the loft and nice and bright in here because the clear plastic and the white canvas and uh, all the windows. There's a window up there too. A uh, little kitchen counter area and whatnot. Wood stove. Some of my junk. Some more of my junk. Yep, okay, more of my junk, more of my junk, some wood. Yeah, and that's pretty much, uh, well, that's that's most of the tour. Oh, we'll, we'll, go, we'll run over here real quick. Oh, there's Josiah's fire pit that he made right there. There's a couple fire pits here. Yeah, and here's, uh, right over here is Damien's teepee, which uh, we'll just pop through real quick. And there's Damien's CP. And yep, that's most of the tour, um, more or less. Yep. I don't know. I mean, I could go on and on, but that's probably most of the interesting stuff around here. So, hope you enjoyed it. Hope I didn't, uh, you know, bore you all to death with this extremely long video. But um, yep, walking back through here now. That's the fire pit. That's the sawmill shed. Towards the house. The house is over there. Find those trees. Okay, uh, see y'all later. I'll try to put some videos up someday about something that's interesting. Um, yep, there's a house over there. Alright, bye.